Well, good day to all of you at Sutri Farms uh, viewing our our channel here. It's time for cleanup, and so what we're going to be doing today, I gotta I gotta get the puppies to um, <coughs> all start going out more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come confine their space to a much smaller space. So when we do that then all the puppies will want to go outside because they're not going to want to do their business um, right here where they sleep. And this is the same thing that, you know, if I haven't talked to you about it, I'm going to talk to you about it right now. But it's basically the same principle, same idea when you take them home. You want to uh, constrain, confine their space to a very small space so that when you're uh, when you're putting your puppy in their crate, you know that section that is in your crate. You want to have a a much smaller section so that because a dog's tendency is not to uh, do their business where they eat and sleep and you know play, so they want to go elsewhere and do it. But if you confine their their eating and playing space to a very small uh, space, then they're going to cry and they're going to wait and they're going to hold it longer before they, you know, they uh, they do their business there. Excuse me. So by you taking it and just confining it just to where their little body fits in just that amount of space, just enough for them to sleep. That's all they need in their crate. And then as they grow, you just expand that wall. A little bit further, a little bit further, and because otherwise, what they'll do is because you should get a full size crate, uh, a crate that they can fit in easily when they're an adult. And there's reasons about that, and I can talk about that later um, for doing that, for getting a crate that they'll fit in full size. Um, uh, but if they're in this corner sleeping, then they're just going to wake up, go to the other corner of the crate, do their business, come back, because to them, they're going out. But to you, it's not. And it's the same thing I'm going to talk a little bit now. You start with their crate, and then you start expanding that space in your house little by little. So if you want to house break your, your dog, you have to do it little by little. You can't give them the rain in, in the entire house, because to them, they're gonna go, okay, in the living room, everything's good, everything's tile. Oh, there's carpet in the bedroom. I'm gonna go over there, that seems like, it, it's like grass. So I'm gonna go in the bedroom and do my business there. And then the next thing you know, you, you'll find little surprises all over your house. So what you wanna do is you expand their space of trust, little by little. Maybe just the kitchen at first, or maybe just the uh, uh, living room, you know? And then have everything blocked off or close all your bedroom doors. And then later on, you expand another bedroom and another bedroom. And then they, sooner or later, they realize that they don't do anything in the house and they go outside. And every time you take them from his crate, where I'm coming back to being a puppy. Uh, every time you take them from their crate, you pick them up in your hands. You don't uh, take them by a leash. You don't uh, call them out to follow you because they're going to stop along the way and do their business. But if you pick them up, they're not going to do their business while they, while you're in in while they're in your hands. So you pick them up and you always take them to the same place. It's going to be a little bit of a drag at the beginning. There's a lot of work when you do that. But when you pick them up and you put them outside in in that same spot every time, and you take them, you know, and if you do this repeatedly, say one month, you know, uh, day in day out, you dedicate yourself to that cause. You're going to see those results for the next, you know, 8, 10, 15 years that your dog's going to be with you. They're always going to go out and they're always going to go to the same spot. So you know where, you know, your cleanup area is going to be. If you do it like I did, you're going to have poopies all over the place. <laughs> so don't do what I do, do what I say. <laughs> I guess that's the moral of the story. But anyhow, I hope you... Uh, you got something from this tidbit of this um, uh, video and uh, it, it was educational for you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to con confine this space to the, just this space right here 
I took off the ramp because now they're big enough so they can climb over that. Their water is still going to be there. But this is basically going to be sleeping quarters, maybe a little bit of playing. And then as they are going outside, later, once they know that that's where they do their business, then I'm going to go back to expanding their area again and I'm going to make this bigger again because they're going to need more space. And then they're going to go outside because that's where they're going to need to go. Okay? But then they'll have all this playing area um, um, and then obviously access to go to the outside. So there you have it folks. This is how I'm going to do the training so that they are going to use the doggy door. Um, I think most of them are now doing it at least. Five of the puppies are already going outside. I've watched them do it. Even if it's late at night and it's dark outside, they're walking through that door and they're going outside to do their business, which makes me a very proud daddy. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was educational. Subscribe if you like the content. Uh, Suchi Farms, we're on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, YouTube. So we'll talk to you next time. God bless. So welcome back to Suture Farms. This is uh, the new configuration. So the puppies are just going to come out from the doggy door. We have the blanket set up here. So this is where they can play and they can uh, sleep. And then they have their uh, nice running water over there. So they can um, get their drink. And then when we um, feed them. We'll just uh, put them over here on the other side and uh, let's see what the puppies think. What do you guys think? Is that going to be nice? Let's see how it, so, let's see how it works with the puppies. All right. We have a new setup here. We have a new setup here and here comes the first puppy. Here they come. Here they come! Oh, look at them! Ooh, this is this looks new. What's going on here? Dante Blue's looking around. He's like checking out the walls. He's like, this this is something different. Where's all the wood here? Oh, look at look at her! Violet is happy. Oh, she's happy because she likes it nice and clean. Yes, she's happy. She's a happy girl. Yeah. Hi, baby. Hi. What's going on over here? Dante Blue. There's Maggie's sister. There's Ciara. Okay. Puppy, 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 puppy. Where are the rest of the puppies? There's only four puppies here. Where are the other four? Come on. Let's go get them. Puppy, 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 puppy. Here comes. Here comes Maggie. There's Maggie. Hi, Maggie. I was really proud of Maggie today because she has a he, she had a very nice stool. And there's um, Kobe. Who else joined us? Who else joined us? Oh, Mr. White. Everybody's here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, no. Miss Red is missing. Red. She always lags a little bit coming coming in. We're working on that. We're working on that. Come on, puppies! Come on, little puppies! Come on, Maggie! I'm sorry, Maggie. Miss Red, come here! Come on, Miss Red, come on! Come on! Come on, you can get in! Come on, you can come in! There you are! There you go, girl! Everybody's inside! Everybody's inside! And look how happy they are to be inside! Now they're gonna start carrying everything apart! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, because they're full of energy! They're full of energy, Mr. White! Ciara, Maggie, uh-huh, Kobe, look at them playing. Oh yeah, they're just all nice and happy. They're just now nice and happy. Happy, 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 joy, joy. Okay, so we're gonna put the food out. We're gonna we're gonna get a food. We're gonna start feeding everybody. Okay, come on over here. Come on. 
we're gonna get one by one. Come on. Who's the first? Who's the first contestant? Come on. Okay. Violet. And Mr. White. Mr. White. Maggie. Maggie. Maggie's sister. Mellow Yellow. Mellow Yellow. Okay, let's start making a mess. All right, so I'll make you a deal. You guys make a mess and I'll keep it clean. All right? All right? Okay. Okay, Mr. White. All right, so four at a time. We're going to eat. Oh, I want to talk to you guys about something. Usually I give this spiel to you guys when, when you come in to pick up your puppy. The importance of white rice or pumpkin. So this consistency of pumpkin, if you try to regulate their stool when they're, when they're having, a, especially when you're changing their food, if you happen to change their food like abruptly, which you shouldn't do, you should always change their food gradually, adding 25% of the new food each time. But this, this is pumpkin, so if you didn't know the trick, uh, pumpkin will, if you have a very loose stool, pumpkin will take care of that, so it'll harden it up. Yes, Kobe, yes, you're very vocal today. Nice. Usually it's Mr. White that's vocal. Yeah. Okay, here's my OCD kicking in. But anyways, if they have a very uh, loose stool, then you can, um, you can regulate it with pumpkin or white rice, and um, and that'll that'll take care of it. But ideally, when you're when you're uh, feeding them, don't don't change their food. By the way, for those of you joining us late, this is the food that you should have at home ready for your puppy. Royal canine puppy, adult or I mean not adult, large size puppy, but. But it's a puppy for sure, and it's Royal Canine. Uh, you can get this brand off of Amazon, or you can just go to your local store and grab it. Um, don't change their food. If you change it, you have to change it gradually. What do I mean by gradually? You do 25% of the new food today, and 75% of the old food. Then the next day you do 50-50, then the following day you do 25% of the old food and 75% of the new food. And then the following day, by the fourth day or by the end of the week, you're doing 100% of the new food and your puppy's stomach will not be upset and their stool will be a happy stool. You want it to be nice and firm, but a little, you know, uh, it should have moisture in it, if that makes sense. So that's a healthy stool, okay? You should always be watching your puppy's stool, especially in the beginning when you, when you first take them home, because after that, um, they'll be fine, but always watching your, your, your dog's stool will help you understand their health and how they're doing. Okay, so we're going to get these other guys brought over here, but I wanted to, um, to share this video with you so you guys can see the new configuration. And with this configuration, hopefully the idea is that they're not going to have a place here where they do their business, they're gonna have to go out there to, to do that. And I'm sure we'll still have an accident here or there, but hopefully not. And then by the time they get to their new home, they'll already be potty trained. Because that's what we do here at Suchu Farms. Have a good day, guys. Subscribe, like our content. Don't forget we're on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, all under Suchu Farms. Feel free to share any um, comments or ask questions and I'll be sure to answer your questions for you okay happy pupping these are my Doberman pinchers from February 23rd Zeus and Bella's litter from February 23rd okay um, we'll take care oh by the way mr. white is the last guy available if anybody is interested He's the last guy available. Everybody else has a wonderful, loving home that they're going to. So.
He's very vocal. If you want something, he will tell you if you want something. He almost like talks to you. He almost like, he's a, a little bit of a singer. Yeah. And he's a very nice size, uh, black and rust boy. Anyhow, like I said, subscribe. If you like our content, share with your friends and family. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. God bless.